we are of sound mind is for you, for the love of Christ controls us. Having concluded this, that one died for all, therefore all died. Romans, the sixth chapter, do you not know that all of us who have been buried with Christ in baptism, we have put on a new self. We have died to sin, died to the old self, and raised to walk a new kind of life. And he, and he died for all so that those who live would no longer live for themselves, but for him who died and rose on their behalf. Therefore, from now on, we recognize no one by the flesh, even though we have known Christ by the flesh, yet now we know him in this way no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, what is he? A new creation. The old has been done away with. It's gone. And look, the new has come. Now all these things are from God who reconciles us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. What does that mean? That means because Jesus brought us in a right relationship with Christ and we should be grateful for that so that we would bring other people to a relationship with God too. Namely that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not counting their wrongdoings against them, and he committed to us the word of reconciliation. That's why we celebrate for the Resurrection Sunday. Yeah, we celebrate Christmas, which is important. That is the reason that we Think of the great sacrifice of God that he came to here. But Christmas would be nothing without the resurrection. And Jesus died, but they didn't come out of that grave, then there would be no Christmas. Because he did. We can celebrate life and all the goodness that he has in store for each and every one of us. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for your great love. That that is what life is all about. It's about your great love for each and every one of us. And that we should share that love with others. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.